we're starting up. Now, before I start, I just want to uh, show everyone, partially for my own, uh, oh, video, partially for my own uh, memory and for those in the future that want to know, I've discovered how to switch uh, discs. Oh. There's two ways to do it. One, if you haven't started the game yet, is uh, to create another file. You've create this uh, .txt file. I'll see if I can uh, show you. Let's see if I can uh, show you guys. Uh, editor. Any full screen? Nope, that's not particularly working, is it? Uh, let's try. Oh, okay, that's not working. Right. Yeah, I'll focus on that later. First of all, where's. Ah, oh, damn it. I can't find my uh, website. Oh well. Anyway, uh, yeah, according to the website, if I knew how to bloody show you. Let's see. Ah, window capture. I can do it this way. All right, I'll mess around with this first. Uh, where's come on? Is it showing yet? No, yes, no, bollocks. Go on, how do I show? <laughs> how am I expected to show people things if it won't bloody load? Anyway, there's two different ways to do it. One is, of course, uh, is it showing the thing? No, it bloody isn't. Add a new source. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Display capture. Yes, let's try that. Yep. Right. Aha! There we go. All right. I'll of course stop this. Uh, when I've stopped showing you what I want to show you. All right. So, first way of doing it is uh, as it says here, you use like a, a text file like I've done here to create this playlist uh, open with the uh... oh for god's sake no that's that's it stupid thing anyway as you can see I just copied the exact names uh, of the two other Q files and of course put in .q. I then saved it as a .m3u file which means when you load it up through uh, <coughs> through the uh, emulator you can uh, switch between both uh, disks seamlessly like uh, for example I'll just start the game itself first just uh, Yeah, that was it, yeah. Alright, fast forward, get past the bits. Then I can get to the point that I want to show you. Yep, yeah, that's it. That's weird, it all split up. Anyway. 
If you have the playlist enabled, you can go down to here, click uh, disk control, and then you you know click this. Which, um, if you think back to the old PlayStation, it would eject the uh, disk, and then. You click on the disk index to change it, because when you create that playlist, you of course can change between disk one, disk two, etc. Uh, and then you just click on that again to reinsert it, and then you go back to the game. <clears throat> now, of course, uh, this didn't, this wouldn't work for us because, of course, I've gotten so far into Parasite Eve, and if you load it from that uh, M3U, it uh, M3U playlist, it treats it like a completely different game. So the problem is, I've then got no save files. So instead of wasting your time and trying to replay, I was thinking of trying another way to do it. And this person came up with a better solution. And as it says here, that's the that, that it basically is a bug with VetroArch's uh, GUI. Is that whenever you go into the dr driver list, it decides to load another core. So then, instead of swapping disks, it thinks you're, say, changing a completely different game. So of course, what you do is go to directories and change file browser. Right. <sighs> so directories is down here. Directory, and then the file browser, and I change it to my file where I have the games to the emulators, you see. And as it's there, now, uh, as I'm going to show you, once we start. Oh, wait. No, I haven't. Oh, I've got a start in my <laughs> I completely forgot. Uh, no, we're going to load from the save state. Because, of course, uh, there's no save point around here. Now, when this happens, like I said, because I've already progressed so far doing this way, I have to do this where we go down to disk control again uh, nothing I can do with the index because of course I didn't load it as a uh, playlist I instead load it as a separate thing so if you're like me and you're stuck in that situation of oh shit I've, all, I've gotten this far and it took me so many hours to get this far I don't want to play <laughs> I don't want to play the game at the beginning again and it's a good game wouldn't mind it, but yeah so do this that it says ejected virtual disk tray so it's as if in real life I hit the eject button on the PS1 disk image append and it takes me straight here uh -huh. uh, I really should sort this file system out at some point uh... oh gone past it Yeah, I've got far too many games on here. Uh, but yeah, we'll back up. There we go. Uh, Parasite Eve Disc 2. There we go. Say disc in trade number 2. There we go. Check your disc. And now we're back here. Haha. <laughs> See? I'll uh, I'll make this a highlight and uh, stick it on my channel just because I know other people want to try and of course figure this out themselves uh, and I had difficulty trying to find this solution uh, <laughs> itself let alone anything to explain it so in other words uh, yeah yeah thank you all uh, thank you all for listening <laughs>